Today we are going to Ploske village. A new volunteer team, a young family from Krasilivka. Igor, what have we got today? KFC wings. On the one side of the village there was an armored troops carrier. My heart was pounding and I couldn't speak. But it's okay now. I'm happy because there is no invasion, people aren't dying, there is no war in our village. I think it will end soon. The war will stop and Russia will disappear. That's a hairdresser's. A young lady has joined us. This is Ksyuha and Tanya. You've solved the problem. You have more people now. They all volunteered. They looted, taunted and killed people. It was like a nightmare, like at the front line. Stas, what are you making today? It's gonna be pilaf, but unusual. Sergey, is it lemonade? Yes, it is. Did you make it? Yes, yesterday till 1 a.m. Kids first thought it was pickle. Well, adults did. A recipe from Colonel Sanders himself. He sang a song to old Yaroslav, the tale of Igor's campaign. Today we are having cotton candy when we get electricity and cheese popcorn. Hello, are you braiding too? I'm learning. Is it your first time with us? Yes, it is. And it's the first time I'm braiding someone else's child's hair. Well, all children are ours, we love them all. But it's my first time.
I was watching a tank stop and aim at the house. Then it started firing at the house where there were my parents. Did they survive? They did, thanks God. But you know how frightened they were. And there is nowhere to live now? Yes, they live with their neighbors now. Everything burned down. How are you? After what you've lived through, is it your first time performing? Yeah, it's the first time and it feels really nice. What you are doing is really cool. It's a good cause. We are pleased to participate in the event to bring some good mood. This band's name is Yara. I leave a link in the channel. I welcome you all to subscribe to this band. They are fun and cool. Thank you, guys. Thank you, too. Hey, buddy. Was he here, too? Yes, he was. In the enclosure. Our neighbor gave him food, cause we had left. Good boy, how is he now? He's sick, you know. He's being treated now. He was wounded during the shelling. The bomb was falling this way. I was running and then a wave hit me. I stumbled and fell with my forehead on the cut branch. I fainted and I don't know how long I was unconscious. When it hit, the dog got killed. Did you have two dogs? Yes, I did. There were some goats too. One big goat and two little ones were killed too. Finally, you've got electricity. At last. How are you doing, Ola? I'm doing great. We're gonna make some angels. Did you make it? I came into the house and lit a torch. I was looking for my mobile phone. And they shot. A window got broken, but it didn't hit me. It hit a wall. There were some bullets, six or seven. Did they let you bury them? No, they said they'd be lying on the ground just like Russians did. And then, when they left the next day, we took the bodies and buried them. Soldiers were in the center. So we called some neighbors and buried him together. It was hot and the body had started decomposing. Then they came and said, what are you doing? But we were finishing. He said, I didn't let you bury him. Well, but we did. Like wild animals. Wow, you're strong. 
Hello, what's your name? My name is Alexandra. Do you live in this village? I come from here, but currently I'm living in a neighbor village. Tell us, how are you after this festivity? It's really cool. There is a band, workshops for kids. It was really nice. Kids loved it all. We're hugely grateful to those who organized it for us, to volunteers who made this day for us. Is this event taking you to peaceful life, like it was before February 24th? Yes, the kids are happy and it makes me happy too. But still there is this bitter aftertaste after what we've gone through. But we are trying to live further. It's gonna be okay. It'll be Ukraine. Glory to Ukraine. Glory to heroes.